Hi guys, this is Virak from Bionic Buzz and tonight we are covering for you a very, very busy carpet. This is the Burbank International Film Festival. Please stay with us and stay tuned. Hello. Mr. Brandon, nice to meet you. Uh, you are such a wonderful filmmaker, but I also admire you as an artist. Thank Could you, you share me, please, that uh, how Burbank inspired you? Well, that's where I'm from. So whether I liked it or not, it, you know, I was inspired here to, to to live in my fantasy world and to live and, and to, to like to draw and to make films. So for me, uh, it's 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 part of uh, where I'm from is part of who I am. So it's it's amazing to be here. Are you uh, continue uh, doing the art pieces? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Running some exhibition? No, no, I just, I always do stuff, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus. Oh, wonderful. I'm Gail Gibson with the Multicultural International Motion Picture Association and Nubian TV. Is it your first time in the Burbank Film Festival? No, it is not my first time. I'm here tonight as a presenter um, for Traverse TV. They're presenting some, a big, a, lot, a huge media check, and so I'm a part of that presentation. So what, uh, how, how can you see, how, how did it change through one these years, the festival? Did you see any improvements? I did. I believe it's growing. And that's always important, especially in this, you know, strike-stricken industry that we're in right now. Hopefully the strike will come to an end soon. And um, at the Multicultural International Motion Picture Association, part of my job is to advocate for women and diversity in the industry. And we're having our annual Lady in Red Gala at the Beverly Hilton Hotel on November 10th. So if you want to go and get tickets to attend our event, it's at www.mempa.org. That's M-I-M-P-A.org to get tickets for that gala. And Renee Lawless, who is here with me tonight, is one of our honorees. She's getting our Humanitarian of the Year Award. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. Um, I would have a question about that, the diversity. So what do you think about the diversity in Hollywood right now? Because I think it, it was a lot of changes in the last few years. So I see actually sh some good changes. I agree with me. There are some good changes, but they're not enough. We need more. We need more people who look like you and who look like me on screen and behind the camera. I'm Tammy Ann Fertain uh, for It's Time. We are in the faith-based category. Okay, so congratulations first of all for your nomination. Uh, can you just share something about the storyline? Um, it's basically a woman is visited by a stranger in her hospital room and she refuses to go with him. And you're gonna have to, it's a dark comedy. And we kind of play with the themes of life and death. And um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. It's a pretty fun, heartfelt, uh, emotional story. So yeah. Can you share something about your history? How did you start filming? Well, I, I came to the United States. I'm from South Africa, in, I'm Cape Town, South Africa. And I came here to go to film school. I finished my degree and I've been making movies ever since. I work both behind the camera and in front of the camera. And this project fell in my lap because my producing partner, Rachel, she wrote the script and it was just so cute and it was short, which I really love. The short form is a challenge. And to always tell a story in such a short amount of time is always great. It's, it's nice when you can overcome that. And uh, yeah, here we are today. And it's just so great to be at this festival. <laughs> That's very true. And it's so nice to see like female filmmakers uh, on the red carpet, uh, especially on the other side of a camera. So how, did, um, uh, how do you feel about this? Uh, because uh, we always hear about it in Hollywood that maybe we need more uh, filmmakers, female filmmakers. Look, I'm always happy when women are progressing and we're getting the opportunities that we should have had many, many years ago. The industry is changing. There are many new developments and we're finding our place and we're taking up our space. And I hope it continues uh, for my sake, <laughs> for my sake. But yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And, and it's always great to see so many female directors and a festival showcasing so many female directors and writers and, and actors and yeah. What is the next project? Um, I'm busy with my documentary at the moment. It's my first documentary and um, yeah, it's based on hip hop culture, Oakland Bay Area. We're trying to develop its time into a feature as well. So we're busy in that process, finding investment for that. Um, yeah, and I also act. So various projects in the pipeline. So yeah, we'll see.
Well, congratulations again for the nomination. We cross our fingers and have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And uh, if you would like to share your social media or your website. Oh, my social media is uh, Tammy A. Fortain. And our film is called It's Time, at It's Time on Instagram. And yeah, follow us. Come see us. We're going to be out in various festivals um, after this one as well. So I hope everyone enjoys it. Thank you so much. Honestly, this is my first time at the Burbank International Film Festival, and I'm just very honored to be um, asked to be a presenter. What is your first impression? Wow. <laughs> that is my impression. It's just, there's so many beautiful films that I've, I've gone to see and um, support. Just the people here, like, look at it. Everyone looks absolutely fabulous. Um, I'm just so excited. <laughs> How do you involve in the business and the industry? Are you an actress? I am. I'm an actress. I'm also a filmmaker as well, an independent filmmaker. So I'm very engulfed in this whole thing. <laughs> Share a little bit uh, more about your job. So what, what was the latest project you've been working on and what is the upcoming one? Yeah, so I've done two feature films. One is called Bora and one is called LA Undercover. Um, and I'm actually working on my own short film called Capture the Flag right now as well. So we're in post-production for that. Thank you so much for stopping by and please share your social media with us. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Queen Ajima, A-J-I-M-A. Thank you. Not write it, it was written and directed by Raul Roscoe Guerrero, who uh, is a wonderful director. And the story was so beautiful that I wanted to grab hold and, and produce and take it home. And so uh, that, that's what I did once we started, uh, once we finished filming, I took over post-production and uh, put it home. Well, absolutely, I'm on all social media. All you have to do is look up Robert Craighead. Thank you so much. So please share a little bit more information about it. Yeah, of course. So NGC Network TV, along with its parent company, Traverse Television, puts out television, show, television shows that are uh, family friendly. My talk show is on there, Dr. Nancy Knows. It is inspiring motivation uh, to individuals that are experts in their field of industry that are giving back in their community in a positive way. So it's often the change that you wish to see in the world. What is your impression of the Burbank Film Festival? Well, it, you know, it's my first time here and it's such a wonderful um, event and the energy is electric here. It's really nice.